Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims and I am here with a channel update. I'm not going to say quick because it's not going to be quick. Um, I'll be honest with you, I recorded this already and I wasn't even done and it was like pushing 40 minutes and I was like, you know what, I gotta try to make it a little more concise and not ramble about life issues and <laughs> like YouTube tw Sims clickiness and all of that stuff. So there you go. Those were my little rambles um, issues. Uh, but I kind of wanted to just address simply a change in the channel. And basically what's going on now is just I need to kind of rearrange what I'm doing. I don't want to say cut back because it's not really cutting back. It's just rearranging the things that I'm doing to give myself a little bit more free time and a little less stress. Um, I have... Mm, I would think most people know, maybe not because, I mean, I've said it before, but I say it in random videos and not everybody watches everything. Um, I have a full-time job, obviously. I work 40 hours or more a week. I am the only person supporting me. It's just me, myself, and I. I work, I pay all my own bills, I do all my own shit. It's all me. Um, and that doesn't leave me a lot of time to do things. Like, yes, it affords me a lot of time to have, you'd think, to have free time, but I don't get to split up the chores. I don't get to split up the bills. I don't get to split up the responsibility on things. Um, it's a, I guess it's a little bit easier because I can record whenever I want and record as much as I want. But what I've been doing with my recording and with the channel and spending all the time that I do on Saturdays, it's kind of a little depressing because it goes from, you know, it's seven Sim series, which should only take like three and a half, four hours to record somehow ends up taking me like most of the damn day. I I don't know how this happens. I'm like, I'm going to sit down and it should only be like two hours left of recording. And four hours later, I'm like, I haven't recorded anything. And it's just, I don't know. That's the way it always works. Um, But I don't want to have to be stressed out about time like that. Or the fact that like right now it is 1.30 in the afternoon. I have not even started recording because, you know, I got up. And I had breakfast, and I played around on the forums, and I browsed Steam, and I did some laundry, which I still have to throw my laundry in my dryer. And I did some stuff, and it's like, I have so much other stuff to do, and there's other games I want to play, but it's like, but now I'm going to have to sit here and spend four hours recording some stuff. Okay, but it's really going to be like seven or eight o'clock at night before I'm done with that. Because if you think about it, i got to take a break, i got to eat lunch at some point, because or dinner by the time I eat, or I got to cook, or I got to do this. And then you're sitting down and you're trying to enjoy it. And the next thing you know, you're like, now it's two hours later and fuck, I, it's seven o'clock at night and I still have like two hours worth of recording to do. And then God, if I want to play other games, the next thing you know, it's two o'clock in the morning and you're like, and it's time to go to bed. And this is my Saturday. And then I get up Sunday and I do all my encoding. Actually, I do all my encoding overnight. Um, I set it all up to encode. And then on Sunday I get up and I upload everything. And then it's like, and before you know it, it's Monday and I'm stressed out because I got to go to work and I didn't enjoy my weekend at all. And it's not that recording, I don't enjoy that. I do enjoy playing and recording, but it's also a responsibility. So it's kind of like, I don't get to do as much stuff as I want. It's not like, I'm going to sit down and record some stuff or, you know, I'm not going to record today. It's a responsibility. I, I, know that I don't have to record, but there's something in my brain that's like, it is my responsibility to get this stuff recorded. So I sit down and I do it. And then the next thing you know, I'm getting bitter because I have no free time to do anything. I can't do anything now. Nah, I can't go for a walk. I can't go on a hike with friends. Not that I hike, but I mean like, you know, walking through the park on relatively flat ground. <laughs> there's not a lot of hills here. Um, There are hills here, but not where I walk. Anyway, side point. You know, I can't do anything like that because it's like, now I got to record. Because if I don't record today, then holy shit, I'm going to have to make sure I record during the week. And then this, and then it's like this micromanaging my time. And it's like, I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to sit down, record some Sim stuff, be able to get the videos up, play other games if I want to play other games, lay on the couch and do nothing if I want to, clean if I need to clean, read a book, do whatever. I want to be able to enjoy my time and not think like I'm recording. I'm like, ooh, it'd be so much fun to just take a nice bath and read a book. Oh, but now it's two o'clock in the morning and who the hell is going to go take a bath at two o'clock in the morning and now I just want to go to bed and all this stuff. So that kind of means rearranging stuff so that it's a little bit more enjoyable and a little less stressful and I don't get burnt out and want to quit and then just not come back. Um, because I do enjoy what I do, but it's just, I'm, I'm, 
backing myself into a corner of making it a responsibility and making it not fun. I love all you guys. I appreciate the fact that you're here, that you watch. I know that there's a lot of you that might watch and not comment, or maybe you just watch randomly. I appreciate every single person that comes on here that doesn't leave nasty comments. If you leave nasty comments, fuck off. Just please leave. Don't, don't even. Um, because trolls aren't welcome. This is not a bridge. Do not climb under it. Troll. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, but for those of you who actually are here and appreciate the content and like what you see and are enjoying yourselves, I appreciate you and I love you guys. Um, and I know that I have quite a few of you who are regulars, who watch almost everything, if not everything, and comment on things and offer suggestions. And I love that. And I know I don't always use all of them. And I know I don't always respond to every single comment. Unfortunately, I, I got to say it. I can't. I can't feasibly do it. Sometimes I there's nothing I can respond to. And sometimes I just can't feasibly do it. Like, I, I'm sorry. I know that there's a lot of YouTubers who will try to respond to every comment. And I know that there's some, you know, you have a huge channel, you have tons of subscribers, you get tons of comments, you can't respond to everything. I know I don't get that anywhere near that. I know. But like, I first of all, YouTube and Google Plus sometimes don't tell me that I have comments and I don't see them for weeks. And I'll see them and I'm like, why did I not get a notification about this? Like, it's been sitting here for two months. What the, whatever. Because, or sometimes I can go on YouTube and I can't respond to a comment because it'll be like, can't respond to comments. And it's like, Okay, so I try to go on Google Plus and the comment's not there and then I go to the video and I can't see it and it's like, you know what, I just give up. Like, So sometimes I give up trying because it's a lot of effort to figure out YouTube and Google Plus and they're, I don't know. I love you, Google, but like get your shit in order. That's all I'm saying. Um, but with that, and I also, it's just, it's one of those things like sometimes I see comments and I'll read them and I'm at work and I like, yeah, okay, I see that I have comments and stuff, but I don't have time to respond. Like it's work. I especially right now, like I'm pretty much been skipping lunches and I have so much stuff to do. I'm like at 200%. It's a lot. And then, you know, I don't really think of it when I get home because I really just want to pass out and die. Like, <laughs> or I want to do something fun or, and I just, and I don't really think about it because again, like, it's like when you have to pay bills, you're like, oh, I don't really want to log in and pay my bills. <laughs> like, it's like, oh yeah, there were comments on videos and I already read them, but I don't remember. And I got to go hunt them down. And then, and it just becomes me being lazy. So I'm sorry. But I do notice a majority of them that YouTube shows me in a timely manner. So, you know. Um, and I do try to respond to things. Um, obviously, if you're a troll and you're leaving nasty feedback, you're just going to get reported and blocked. So just don't bother. Like, just peace out. Bye, Felicia. Um, but for everybody else, like, just leaving your normal comments, whatever, and suggestions. Like, obviously, you know, I love you guys. And I love the suggestions. I love when I talk in a series and I say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about maybe I could do this. And I'm just kind of shooting shit out there as I'm playing. Like, these are things that I'm thinking at the time. So, you know, <laughs> spoiler alert for all the stories. But, and then I just love the fact that you guys will play off that. Well, what about this? How about this? Or here's some ideas on that. And then it gives me great ideas. And then I can play off that or hey, that's so much better than what I was thinking. Thanks for working on that. Like, And I love that because it helps me create a better story. It lets me know that, yeah, I'm on a good track with coming up with stuff that I want to do for stories and you're not all going to flip out like if everything's not happy because me, I do. Like, <laughs> like in the Stardust Challenge, you know, like I'm like, I could think of all these awesome things to do, but I feel so bad making their lives hell. But like when you guys come back with like, ooh, what about this? And like kind of work with my warp sense of like ideas, like we could have everybody die brutally. And you're like, yeah. And it's like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. I could just, I like that. None of that made any sense, but uh, you know me. You should, you probably already know what I'm saying, even though I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, so I, I kind of feel like breaking things up a little bit and rearranging the schedule and kind of how I do things will help. I want, what I want to do is I wanted to relieve some of the stress of having to record four hours worth of Sims that becomes eight hours worth of Sims, which then becomes me trying to cram in everything that I need to do and becomes 12 hours worth of what the hell did I do today? And oh my God, I have to go back to work on Monday kind of thing and gives me time to play other games if I want to play other games and do other things and not feel so stressed out that 
My entire life is spent doing Sims on my only free day off during the week because I don't count Sundays because Sunday I just, I'm depressed that I have to go to work the next day. So, you know, Sunday's already shot. So pretty much Friday night and Saturday is all I got. Um, but, uh, so what I'm hoping is it will kind of alleviate some stress and I'll have a little bit more fun and I won't feel so quote unquote responsible. Like, Hey, I can get my stuff done and cool. And then I have more time to do other things, play other games. We have tons of other games that I have for PlayStation, for Xbox, on Steam that we never get to because it's like, ah, oh, I don't have time to start that because then that's one more thing I have to do. And I, I want to be able to record those things, even if they're just a couple of one-offs, even if we don't play them regularly, you know, something. It, it, it's just, I want to be able to play other games, you know, and not feel like, hey, I have all these other games someday. It's like, I want to, I want to fit them in. I, Lego Dimensions, I've spent so much money on that game. So much money. I want to be able to play it more. I've done five episodes and I know a lot of people don't watch it. I know that we have like a couple people. That's it. But like, I don't care. I like playing the game and going to the different adventure worlds and I want to be able to do that. Like, I spent a metric ton of money on this game that I don't have really. Um, I want to get the most out of it, you know? And I like it. It's fun. <laughs> like, I want to be able to play it more uh, without feeling like, oh, I just don't feel like doing it, you know? But, or in feeling like I don't have the time because now it's two o'clock in the morning and, oh my God, it's one more thing I have to do. Like, I want to just be able to record and have fun and get back to recording and having fun. And it's just become a little bit of too much stuff to do. Plus, honestly, I knew... I didn't go into doing my channel thinking like, I'm going to make tons of money and have millions of subscribers. I did it because I wanted to do something fun. And hey, if I make a little change on the side, that's pretty freaking cool. Plus, like, gives me a reason to play games because I probably wouldn't play as many if I didn't record because there's a part of me that's like, oh, I could record that. And it's just fun. Like, I, I kind of have fun doing this. Um, but it, it is getting a little depressing because it's gotten to the point like, I, I don't know what's changed. I don't know if everybody just has ad block on or if YouTube has changed shit. But it was nice. The channel was paying for itself. Like all the pro, all my Adobe programs, it paid for those. And then I'd get some extra. And it was like, that's pretty cool. And it's just been slowly going down and down where now it barely pays for the Adobe subscriptions. And it's depressing. And I know I don't put out my three videos a day anymore, but that's a lot to sustain with a full-time job and two side jobs to and this being one of them. Th that's a full, that's more than most of the people who do this full time do. I don't see a lot of people who do this for a living. This is their thing. This is what they do doing three episodes, three different things a day. I know a lot of people do a lot of work. There are some people that do there's, they are on point with their live streaming and the games that they do and all their stuff and their schedule and props to them because they are organized and they are awesome. But there are other people who don't do half as much shit. And it's like, you know, this is your job. And I see people complaining like, oh, guys, I can't do my one video a week this week. I'm just too stressed out. You, you, oh, oh, my God. What? I, I want your life. And I know everybody's got different things in their lives because and we don't talk about it. Like, I don't talk about all the shit that's going wrong in my life. I don't sit here and tell you how, oh, okay, here, okay. Everything is wrong right now. Everything is not awesome. Everything is literally going in the crapper. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's like just a downward spiral this year. But, you know, that's my own business. And I know some people will be open and talk about things and some people don't. So we don't really know. But I know that it stresses me out when I put up three episodes a day on top of having a full-time job and having another hobby business on the side that I try to keep afloat, which is really just, it, it's tanking too, because I, I never get to do anything with it. Um. And I see people who do like one video a week, like, I'm too stressed to do my video today. This is your only job. What? Oh my God. Like, I want your level of stress because to me it feels like a lot less. And I know that there's other things going on in people's lives. You know, there's other stuff going on in my life. My life is not like sunshine and rainbows and I just have to have a full-time job. Like, I have a full-time job where I didn't get a raise this year, but my rent went up $100 a month. I don't have $100 a month, so oops. So this sucks. Like, I'm to the point where literally every cent that I get goes out the door for bills. I'm not even sure if I can afford gas to go to work anymore. So, that's lovely. Shit like that. Um, Let's not talk about that. But, I don't know. So, it's one of those things that I need 
I got a lot of stress building up and other things. I need to break it down. I don't want this to cause me stress to the point where I just rage quit because I don't want to do that. I enjoy playing my Sims game. I enjoy recording and I want to keep it that way. I want this to be something that is fun that takes my mind off of all the shit that sucks in my life right now. Um, and I don't want this to be one more thing that sucks, but I think I'm letting it become that and I need to reevaluate and I need to fix that so it doesn't become that. So with that now still 15 minutes in and way too long, I want to rearrange what we do. I'm not cutting anything out. I am just going to change and start putting things up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday and on an every other week basis. So instead of my little pony going up every Monday, it would be every other Monday. And I know that that kind of sucks because you're not getting the episodes every week. You now have to wait every other week. It also sucks for the time because it's going to take twice as long to do every challenge that I have. It, like, I think the Time Lord Challenge is the one that I can, you can easily do the math on. It's 12, it's technically 13 weeks um, if you count the little farewell clip show thing that we do at the end, but it's 12 episodes and that would be 12 weeks. We're now basically going to turn that into almost 24 weeks. <laughs> That's going to take, I mean, that was three months to six months. Um, oh my God. It already, it took me a year to get through the first time Lord challenge. And that was when legitimately in the very beginning, I was doing multiple episodes a week before I added so many different challenges and different series and everything on. So we're looking at, and then, and then not to mention the fact that we rotate off. So, I mean, that's going to take us 12 years to finish. <laughs> like, legit. I mean, it's going to be six months for one regeneration. And if I was doing that nonstop, it would take six fucking years. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be on Sim 7 before I'm done with that series is what I'm saying. Like, holy shit. Um, when I think of it that way, it's overwhelming and I want to cry. But the thing is, is we know at some point we're probably not going to finish all these series. There's going to be a point where it's just going to peter out or Sims 4 is going to stop and then Sims 5 is going to come out. And who knows? It's probably going to be one of those things that it's like everybody did with Sims 3. Like, well, I have this challenge and I don't know, but I don't want to play Sims 4. That's going to be like, it's so much better. Like... I mean, I did the same thing, like, between 2 and 3, like, when Sims 3 came out, I'm like, I don't like these Sims, they look stupid, Sims 2 is way better, and then I played Sims 3, and I was like, what was I thinking, Sims 2 sucks, like, like, just the graphics and everything, and I did the same thing between 3 and 4, like, when I first saw Sims 4, I was like, I don't think I like this, and they're weird, I don't know, uh. Sims 3 is, like, way better, they look way more realistic, and now when I look back, I'm like, what the hell is I thinking, Sims 3 looks like shit, <laughs> like, like, I can't handle it, I look at it, and I'm like, the frick these sims look terrible compared to the ones we have now and like so i'm gonna do the same thing with sims 5 if it ever comes out which you know who knows um we know at least we've got this year and next year so we've got i don't want to say two years because it's april it's almost we're almost halfway through this fucking year thank god because this year sucks donkey balls and i can't wait for it to be over but um it's it's only april (laughs) fuck my life it's mid-april still (laughs) Uh, speaking of April, we finally have a baby giraffe born today. Uh, in case you haven't seen that, go watch Animal Adventure Park. Go check them out. Check out the baby giraffe. And I think they have like, you can rewatch the live feed of the giraffe giving birth. Don't do it because it's horrifying. It's, you're like, oh, ew, ew. It's kind of gross. Um, I watched like two seconds and I was like, yep, nope, I can't watch this. This is gross. Um, <laughs> but anyway, halfway through this, we're not even halfway through the year yet and I hate it already. But And we know that Sims is going to be going through 2018. And I kind of hope Sims 4 goes even longer than that, because if we're only getting one expansion pack a year, it's like, but, you know, I mean, technically university could come out as a game pack. I mean, seriously, it's, I mean, I don't, I don't see why that couldn't be, but like, you're like thinking pets and university and seasons and like all these other things that we're used to having that you want. I want more than just vampires. I want like witches and stuff. They could totally come out with game packs for that. And I'm totally okay with that. So, because we know we get more game packs in a year than we get expansion packs, but, like, pets has to be an expansion pack. And, like, so we're not going to get that maybe till the end of the year because we're getting one, and then next year we get one, like, there's so much stuff we're missing! (laughs) Whoa! You know? So I just feel like we at least have a year and a half plus of the game because I really don't see it ending before 2008. Like, maybe 2019 they'll be like, and we're done! But, like, 
We, I'm pretty sure we have next year if they're like, hey, get involved with the stuff pack that's not going to come out until 2018. It's like, well, you obviously have shit planned because you have plans for everything. Otherwise, that if you did not have a plan up until about that point, you would not be having the stuff pack come out well that late. You would have it come out sooner. It'd be like, hey, plan the stuff pack that's coming out in like August. Like, it's like 2018. Holy shit. You've got all this stuff. Like, you already have stuff pack releases planned up until that point. So... I mean, maybe they haven't started working on them, obviously, because, like, timing and everything. But, like, you have this shit planned. And usually in development, you have this shit planned. Unless you're my company and then you, well, then states change regulations and you have to, like, jump up your ass to get everything done, like, in a year. And you're like, we have a whole year to do it, but it takes a long time. The process takes a long time. (laughs) And then nobody has time to plan and then everything is crap. But, yeah, I would assume that their development... They, their cycle is a little bit more thought out and structured than the project I'm working on right now. But anyway, um, not game development, obviously. But anyway, a side, total side note. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to restructure the channel. So we'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So that's four Sims episodes a week, every other week. So right now the tentative schedule will be week one. We'll do My Little Ponies on Monday. Stardust on Wednesday, our Time Lord Challenge on Friday, and then Saturday is open for a series. Week two, we have House Rules on Monday. We have Over the Rainbow, which is our Rainbow Legacy, on Wednesday, and Every Which Way on Friday. And we also have Saturday open for a series. So with that said, I'm more discerning of you people are going to realize that we are missing a series that we currently have going, and that is my Shuno memoirs. And uh, this depresses me a little to say that I am going to record the last episode of that this week, and then we're done. Um, I may bring it back every once in a while to check in on the family, because I kind of do want to see how Maeve grows up, and I kind of want to do that a little bit. And I might play that on my own, but it's not going to be something that I record and put up, just because... That was a series that was a collaboration between myself, Safiz, and Virtually. Virtually has been MIA for the past couple of months, dealing with a move and work stuff and all and life stuff and everything. Um, and I think right now, I don't particularly know, even though we do talk, if it's kind of up in the air when she's going to come back and get stuff back on her channel. So, you know, I mean, and that's fine. Safiz and I were still doing the challenge without you know, while she was on her hiatus, you know, I took a hiatus for two weeks, um, when my dad passed away, um, and didn't have videos up. And, but now, now Safi's, if you've seen, if you watch her channel, if you've seen her video, she's, I don't want to say quitting YouTube, but she's basically at least quitting temporarily. All of the sim stuff, not continuing, might be doing games, who knows, but it's pretty much like this is done. So with that, it's basically gone down to me doing this challenge. And I don't want to do this challenge anymore when my little home slices and my water wings were there with me. And it was a collab between the three of us. And now there's just me trying not to drown in the YouTube ocean without my water wings. No. <laughs> Seriously. They were. I had my left water wing and my white water ring and they, wing and they kept me afloat and I didn't drown. But now I'm going to drown without them. That was my guilt trip. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I get it. We've had conversations. I get it. And and this is kind of part of, too, why I've reevaluated mine. Like, it, it does make me realize when, you know, you talk to people and you realize that YouTube is kind of just dragging them down and stressing them out. That it's like, you know what? It's doing the same thing to me and I'm going to have a breaking point. And I don't want to quit things entirely because I have fun doing this and I would miss doing it. But I already tried to weed out some stuff. I'm like, okay, we're going to – I'm just going to do – the sim stuff, I'm not going to do all my other games. I'm not going to have three things a day going up because I can't maintain that. And then now it's just like, you know what? But now I'm just doing sim stuff and I literally sit down. Right now it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't started sim stuff. And the prospect of around four hours worth of recording takes like six hours because I got to eat something or then I got to do lunch or I got to do this and I got to do things in between. And before I know it, all of a sudden it's like 8 or 9 o'clock at night and then I'm st- gotta okay I gotta get some other stuff like when I was recording the Danganronpa stuff we still have that going up but I finished the game when I was recording that it's like now I gotta record a couple of those so that's like at least two hours worth of record and then it's like 
what should be four to six hours of recording becomes almost 12. And I just feel stressed out. And then by the time I'm done, it's like, well, now my whole entire Saturday is gone and I can't do anything. And I've kind of wasted two hours of my Saturday trying to record this. But, you know, this needed to be done. Um, But I just feel like that's something that needs to be done. So what you are going to notice is this week we are going, we're starting that schedule this week. So I thought about recording everything that I need to record. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to start the every other week process this week. I'm probably going to record this week and next week's episodes. I may do them all now. I'm not sure just because um, my mom might be visiting me. I'm not sure if she's coming up during the week or she's going to come up on the weekend. She usually comes up to me on the weekends um, just because like, obviously like I work. um, And if she is here on the weekend, I'm not going to be recording. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll record my stuff during the week next week and get it up. But I'm going to go on the every other week process just because I I, I want to start easing myself out of having a hundred million things to do. Um, But yeah, so uh, like I said, next week, I'll figure out what I do. Um, My mom's down visiting well, actually, I think they're in Florida right now. So mm-hmm, everybody gets to go to Florida. That's fun. They're probably back at my sister's house for Easter. Um, but she, after my father passed away, my sister convinced her to kind of leave the house, get out of the house for a little while, go down and visit everybody. Um, so my s- oldest sister brought my mom down to her house. My mom stayed there for a little while, went to my other sister's house. My nephew's birthday is Tuesday. So happy birthday, because sometimes he watches my channel. So if he watches this video, it's going to be up before his birthday, but his birthday is Tuesday. So, um, and and my mom's going to stay there for that. And then she'll probably come to my house and probably on the weekend, because when my parents used to come down and visit us all, um, they always kind of stopped by me on like a Friday because, you know, I like my work schedule, obviously I work Monday through Friday and it was just easier to stop by me and then go to my sisters. Cause my one sister, both of my sisters, well, my one sister has a part-time job. Um, the other sister, you know, stay at home mom takes care of her. That's her job, you know? Um, so it's, it's easier cause they're going to be there longer. And like with me, it's not like, Oh, you're staying here. And it's like, Hey, thanks for, I'm going to go to work. And my parents are just sitting around my house doing nothing. Um, so they'd usually just come stop by me on a Friday night and then leave Saturday morning. And cause I'm just not as fun as my sisters. Cause I don't have grandkids for them to play with. And my bird used to be mean to my dad. So my dad's ghost is going to poke him in the belly all the time. Cause that's what he used to try to do. Poke him. <laughs> my bird was mean to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so if she comes this, not this weekend, obviously like, cause it's Saturday right now, but next weekend I might not get recording done. So I might try to do those episodes this week or I'll do them during the week. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out, but just in case if for some reason there's no videos next week, I didn't just rage quit like at last minute. It's because of that. And then we'll just resume our normal, like the week two stuff would then be not the following week because we'll we'll see. Um, I also have two walks like 5k things that I'm supposed to be doing next Saturday and the Saturday after. So go fake. Everything happens like at the wrong times, but obviously I would plan for that. And I would record stuff in advance, but also that's, I mean, that's a good point. I have things to do on those Saturdays. So it's like trying to record seven episodes during the week. It's like, Oh good God, that becomes cumbersome. But now just trying to record four is a little bit easier, like two hours worth of stuff, you know? So anyway, this is my half hour ramble. So With that, I'm going to record the last episode of my Shuno Memoirs this Saturday. We have a space to fill. I will probably do another video during the week of different series ideas that I've had, um, different challenges and things that I've kind of tossed around to do. If you have any suggestions for things, for challenges that you want me to look at, leave them and I'll check them out. Um, What I'm thinking of doing, there was a challenge that I wanted to do, which is the Bring Me to Life Challenge. Um, I will try to remember to put the link below. I will probably forget Um, because I forgot to put the link to the Merklin challenge in the video, the current household video I did last week. So just realize that. 
Well, I realized it before and then I forgot and then I realized it again. Um, but anyway, the Bring Me to Life Challenge, I really want to do that one. I've been wanting to do that one for a while, but I didn't have a space for it. But what I'm thinking and what I thought of last night, it would probably be really good to wrap that in with our Time Lord Challenge because that is a lot of little tiny mini challenges like completing the grilled cheese aspiration or there's little things that are, it's kind of like two different little components tied together. And it's really awesome and it looks really fun. But I think it might be really cool to mix in with the Time Lord Challenge because we don't really have a lot of direction with that except for, you know, Lady Heart is trying to figure out who she is and where she came from and what's going on in her life. And that's going to take time for her to figure out. So you can't focus on that every episode. Um, and, you know, I know she's hopping around from game file to game file, but I feel like even that's not enough because you hop in there and you're like, These, this is the game file that we're in and this is what was going on in this challenge. And it's kind of like a nice way for me to kind of poke back into games that I haven't played in a long time or probably would never go back to. But it's also like, now we're here and what do we do? Uh, so I kind of, I feel like if you watched last week's episode, it's like, yeah, she just paired up two of the Sims. And it's like, okay, that happened in one episode. What the hell do we do with the rest of the series? <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't have a lot of game files that she can jump into. Um, and I need to work on those plots because I really want to, with some of them, like, I'm going to pop in this one and maybe she'll take a sim out of that game and move them into another game. And I mean, because we kind of had that backstory going with Stardust. Like, that's how Gyro got there was because first librarian. And like, we kind of wrote these backstories in, but I would love to be able to have those backstories, but actually in the Time Lord Challenge kind of show you how it happens because I love the fact that my series all like to intertwine. I love that. <laughs> I just, I want to make it so convoluted and complicated. Um, this is why I have a chart on my wall, literally with post-it notes and duct tape. Not kidding. Um, but yeah, so I kind of, it's going to take a little bit more time to kind of work those in. So while we're doing that, I think it'd be fun to have her do some of those little mini challenges in the bring me to life challenge. Um, so, I think I want to wrap that into that, but that was a challenge that I originally wanted to do, but kind of find a place for that. I have a vampire challenge that I started off on my own. I mean, that's an option to fill in. Um, I might pop in this week uh, sometime or maybe next week to kind of show you that one and kind of go through that and see if that's something that you want me to do as a regular challenge. Um, there is... I shouldn't say this because I keep trying to tell myself not to do it. <laughs> there is another, there is a, a Marvel legacy challenge, which, you know, I love legacy challenges and I'm just like, I love it. But at the same time, I have so many legacies and I think I need to do something kind of not a legacy. Like I really want <laughs> too many legacies. Um, that's an option, but I really think that would be something I might do on my own and do like as a current household just because it's going to be so long and we already have so many long challenges and I kind of want to do something a little bit different than a legacy just because we have Stardust, we kind of have My Little Pony, which has turned into a legacy. We have House Rules, we have the Rainbow one, and we have Every Which Way. That's a lot of freaking legacies. We have a Harry Potter legacy, we have a Rainbow legacy, we have an Alphabet legacy, we have a My Little Pony one, which I just kind of made up because, I mean, there actually is a My Little Pony legacy challenge out there that came out after, but Mine's not, obviously mine's just my own My Little Pony thing. There's no strict rules. And then we have the history challenge. Like, well, all of mine, I literally have one that is not a legacy challenge. And that's the Time Lord. Um, except for my Shuno Memoirs, but that's going out. What I've noticed and what I've seen is the people that have responded or watched the current household that I did with the Merk, uh, the Merklin challenge Merkland, right? Yeah, it's not. Mer I I, I want to keep calling it like Merkwood. I don't know why. Like I've got to get anyway. I got. Ugh. Everybody seemed to really want to see that as more than just a current household. So that is a possibility. If you guys want to see more of that, I can put that in. I think what I'm planning to do right now is next Saturday, put that up, do another episode of that, and if that's something that you guys want to see, then that will be week two Saturday, um, episode. And then we just got to find something to fill in for my Shudo memoirs. So we'll figure that out. I might do another video um, showing you the vampire challenge thing that I'm doing. I have two different vampire games that I started. Um, and I can show you both of those and say, okay, like, here's this one. This is based on a challenge that's out there. Go through that. 
um, kind of read the challenge, see if that's one. Or then the other one that I just did just to kind of play with vampires for a little bit. I literally played for like an hour, maybe. I've done nothing with it. Maybe use that one. Maybe I can just throw that character in the other one. I don't know, you know. Um, so we can see how that goes. So we can find something to fill in on week one Saturday. Uh, so that gives us eight series. So that does give us a little bit more. We will be bringing back alternate realities and Blackwell Crest. Um, that's also an option. We don't have to do a whole new series. We can bring back one of the old ones in the Saturday spot and then, you know, do the rotation. I kind of like having two things off this way. We get a little bit more new stuff, but we can always bring back one of the old ones. And then when one of the current ones rotates off, put something new and kind of space it out a little bit. It's, it's up to you guys how we want to do that. Um, but I do kind of want to show you some of the other ideas that I have. Uh, and I kind of think I only want to do like one new thing right now, maybe just because when pets does come out, we do have a Scooby-Doo, um, game that I wanted to do. I've been wanting to do since I started this channel, since this game started, I was like, as soon as pets comes out, I'm doing a Scooby-Doo LP and I still have that. That is still going. That is still going to happen. It's going to happen. I will make fetch happen. Damn it. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that, that's really something I want to do. I also have another idea if we got university, um, I don't need it. It doesn't need to be university. I can also maybe run through that challenge with you guys and say, this is kind of like what I wanted to do. I can do this. I can do the vampire thing. We can hold off because we can bring back alternate realities. That would be the first one rotating back in. And then, when Scooby-Doo happens, we rotate something off. I, it's going to be a weird timing issue with that. I might um, pull something mid-season or, you know, put Scooby-Doo up as an extra thing when Pets comes out, depending on how the channel works out. Because that, that's going to happen, goddammit, I don't know. But that that's, yeah. We'll figure that out. That's down the road. I don't need to think that far ahead. I can barely think about today. Um, the only other thing that we have, and I have not quite figured out how this will fit in, but I said I was going to do it, and I am going to do it, damn it. Um, when Danganronpa, when the Danganronpa game finally ends, which I've recorded, I've played all the way through, so I think this week and maybe next week the game is going to be uploaded on the channel. I'm um, still going to do that kind of every other day thing. Then we will have, I will upload the CASs that I have done for all of the Danganronpa 2 characters. I still have a couple that I need to do. Crap, I got to remember to do them. Um, and then I'm going to upload the build that I did for Hope's Peak Academy. Um, a little, just, I want to make a cliff note right here that I know it's not it doesn't exactly look like it does in the game and the floors are all different because one, you can't have five floors in the Sims. I mean, you could if you did a basement, but I didn't. And two, like, I'm sorry. I had the floor plan of that damn school and like none of that. You put those things together. It does not look like it does on the outside. Like, I don't know what kind of crazy crack whore built this thing, but like, it does not work. The inside does not match the outside. So obviously I had to finagle things and rearrange things, but did the best I could. And I'm not like a master builder. So whatever. I like it. I'm kind of happy with it, but that will go up as well. And then once all the CASs and all of the build videos are up, we will start a sim series um, Dangan for Danganronpa. So I've created my own kind of challenge to kind of figure things out. I'm not going to go through the rules and everything I figured out because I'm still working on it. Um, I still, some things need to happen, but it'll probably be a work in progress when we start this, um, just because I'm not going to play test it or anything. I don't have time for that. So we'll play test as we go. Um, and we're going to kind of do that. So that will be, I kind of haven't figured out if that's going to be every week or what we're going to do on that. Um, I was originally going to do it two times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and have like the first episode be like, okay, we're just hanging out and everybody's getting to know each other and whatever. And then the next episode was going to be possibly the person who's going to get murdered, gets murdered at the end of episode one. And then episode two would be, okay, now we got to figure out who done it and whatever. I might end up doing like Tuesday. If I do Tuesday, say Tuesday, Thursday, episode one would be, okay, everybody's hanging out and blah, blah, blah. Episode two would be somebody died in the very beginning. And now we got to figure out who did it. And at the very end, we figure out who it does and we punish that person type of a thing. And we could very much do that, um, or I could literally do one every other week on that one with week one is episode one where everybody's just hanging out having fun. Week two is episode two where somebody dies and then somebody's a murderer and that kind of a thing. So 
I might do, I, I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with that, but that would be an, a one-off. It's not going to go in the normal rotation. It's going to go um, as an offshoot, so on a different day. So it would be, even if I do Tuesday, Thursdays, I'm not counting it to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because it's a one-off kind of series that I'm going to be playing until kind of Dang It Rampa 3 comes out. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like a one-off. And in the off chance that something doesn't rotate off, when if pets comes out this year, I'm just I, I want to say when, but if if it comes out this year, Scooby Doo would just be kind of a one off like that until we can find a place for it to fit and you know whatever. Um, so that's that. That's kind of my plan. So hope you guys aren't too bummed about that. I know it kind of sucks. That's going to be every other week. It does give me a little bit more time to play with stories and to do a little bit more and hopefully get a little more involved. So it's not just, yeah, I want to do something, but now we're just watching people age and okay, they're now they're a young adult. Now we're starting the next generation. And it's like, you know, that mixed with the rotating off, hopefully it gives us a little more story time and it gives you guys a little bit more time to offer suggestions like name suggestions for babies story ideas where it's not like okay I just posted this video but I've already recorded the next one like every which way you never get anything in that one because you haven't even watched this week's video by the time I'm recording the next one so it gives a little bit more time for if I need baby name suggestions or, okay, I'm not really sure how I want to progress with this one or, okay, we're coming up to a point where there, there's a story plot that we need to do here. Do we do A, B, or C? But then by the time I record the next episode, you know, people haven't watched or haven't had enough time to watch it. And then, and then I get all these great suggestions like a week later and it's like, but I already recorded it. Like, it, I feel like it would help a little bit with the story plots and everything and kind of ease a lot of the stress, except for the only stress it's going to add to me is basically me thinking like it's going to take, you know, six years to finish the time Lord challenge. And that's only if I didn't rotate her off. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> that's not saying that certain challenges don't fall off. Like, Oh, we're getting bored with this one. Nobody likes it. We'll just take it off. Or then, then I could record more. Maybe, I want to record more at some point again. And instead of just doing other games, I mean, who knows, you know, this isn't forever. This is just what I need to do for me right now. Um, maybe it stays this way. Maybe it doesn't. But um, now that I've rambled for 42 minutes, which was literally what I tried not to do the first time I recorded 45 minutes, I had a little bit more plot. We got to the point of the thing. Cause the last time I rambled for 45 minutes, we did not even get to this point. So um, yeah. So I'm sorry. This is super long. I hope you guys understand. Like I said, I will try to post another video another kind of update video, but it will be more like we will have, um, something to watch. I'll be going through, I can go through my university idea to see if you want to rotate that in without us having university. I can go through the vampire things that I was kind of playing offline and see if we want to start that as a regular challenge, um, in place of my Shino memoirs for our week one Saturday thing. Um, and stuff like that. So yeah. Any other suggestions for other challenges that you like? Um, leave them below. I will check them out. Um, preferably not a legacy though, just because I have so many of them. We need to get something else. You guys have enough legacies that you're watching. <laughs> I need to branch out a little bit. Um, or if there's any ideas for like, hey, this is a cute little challenge. It could probably be wrapped up in this series. Like it might be cool in this one to make those other series a little more, give them a little bit more depth and a little more stuff to do. That would be great. So, um, yeah, let me know. Leave comments. Um, I will see you guys in our videos this week. Remember, this week starts week one, so we will only have episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday this week. So I will be reiterating that in probably all the videos just for anybody who doesn't watch this just because it's really freaking long and not everybody likes to hear me talk. So this much. But anyway, uh, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.